All right, tax filing season is coming up. It is that time to get your tax forms together. Legal Services Alabama and Mobile has a tax clinic to help you get ready. So we have two guests in the studio, Timothy Kingston and Rachel Reese, to talk more about how to get you ready and also what the clinic has to offer. And on that note, Rachel, I want to ask you, you know, you guys do offer a lot for people in the community. Talk about the services. Right. So we are a statewide non profit law firm for low income Alabamians. We do all civil matters, so nothing criminal, but consumer, housing, bankruptcy, um, some domestic work for survivors of domestic violence, mm -hmm. and some public benefits as well, helping with social security, unemployment, pretty much trying to help low income Alabamians get back on their feet. And I'm glad you mentioned low income because a lot of the time your services are, are free. Right, we don't charge attorney's fees at all. Mm -hmm. As long as you qualify your income level and the subject matter is something we can do, then we're happy to take a look at your case and help you out in whatever way we can. Okay, and Mr. Kingston, this is something that you've been on the four o'clock talking about, but today you're talking about tax time. You bet. Um, this coming Monday, January 27, is the first day that the IRS will accept returns for the 2019 year. So as you said a moment ago, people need to gear up, get their oh. paperwork together. Um, just so people know, another deadline, which is very important to especially our clients, the low-income clients, is the first time that people can expect refunds uh, for mm themselves is more or less around the end of February, so people need might want to keep that date in mind as well. Okay, so when we're talking about getting our papers together, depending on your individual situation, um, what all should they gather? W-2s and... Sure, I mean, if a person's a basic wage earner, mm -hmm. it's pretty easy. You'll get a W-2 from your employer, or you're required to. They've got to give it to you uh, by the end of January um, under law. Um, other, you know, if you have a small business, you're going to need to get together your research seats, your, you know, your profit and loss statements, other, you know, expenses that you might have. And we can also help people determine what kind of materials they need to get together. Yeah. And in terms of making sure that you have receipts, how important is that, like for donations? Uh, extremely important. You know, the IRS uh, has over the last number of years really had an interest in controlling fraud. So they are aud auditing more people than they used to. They're auditing a lot of low income people. And so you really need to have your documentation together. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to mention of uh, in particular is a lot of people run into problems when they go to say Uncle Bill and Uncle Bill tells them oh I know how to do taxes let me do it for you uh, or the person down the street mm -hmm. now I'm not I can't recommend who to go to but I would really want to urge people you know go to an established place you know a place that's going to be around for a while mm -hmm. so many times I've worked with people where you know, the IRS is auditing them. You know, we want to get hold of the person that prepared their tax return, and they're nowhere to be found, whether that's because there's a problem or whether some of these smaller um, uh, entities will close up after tax season. You can't get hold of them. Yeah, that's, so that's an important reminder. Absolutely. Make sure you go to the pros. Mm -hmm. Right. And you guys are available for that. Absolutely. We don't prepare tax returns, but I'm happy to give people advice about how to do it and help them if they run into a problem with the IRS down the road. All right, well, certainly grateful for the services that you guys offer for the community. And we had that website posted on our screen there. And we'll also get this information posted to our YouTube page and our website. So if you didn't get an opportunity to write it down, you can search it later. I thank you both for stopping by. Thank, thank you. you and happy tax season. Thank you. <laughs>